it's dry in Summit County, at least where she is. Yeah, that, no rain where she's at. But we do have some scattered showers in parts of the foothills near Estes Park. We actually have some flash flood warnings in place right now. That will be in place through 745 tonight. So pockets of heavy rain, very flood prone area dealing with that right now. South of Denver near Castle Rock, some heavy rainfall. And the south side of Denver getting some light rainfall right now. And there's some scattered showers as you head off to the west a bit more. So we talked about this yesterday, how most of this would stay off to the west and some of it could creep into Denver. Well, we did see that materialize for us and there's a bigger surge of moisture coming our way starting tomorrow. So we're back in that monsoon flow and we're seeing that moisture head back into our region. But we also have a cold front that's just up to the Pacific Northwest right now and that is going to start cruising through as we head into Wednesday afternoon and into the evening. By Thursday, it's passing through the front range and out toward the eastern plains. So by Thursday afternoon, this should be mainly out of Colorado, but then we still have that heavy rain in many areas. So on Wednesday, that heavy rain should mainly stay in the western side of the state. Just like today, there will be a chance of some showers here in Denver, maybe some pockets of heavier rainfall. And then Thursday, there'll be a better chance for rain here in Denver, along with a couple thunderstorms possible as well. So future cast for tonight, we are going to continue to see some of that rain for a little while longer, even if it's not showing up on your future cast. Tomorrow morning, we have a chance for a little bit of rain off to the west with some cloud cover, and then we're going to see a surge of rain come in throughout the afternoon and into the evening. And some of that is going to be very heavy, even late at night. So we are concerned about flooding once again near the Glenwood Canyon area. So we do have some flash flood watches, even if it's not in the Glenwood Canyon area. We are concerned about that from Moffitt County down towards uh, parts of uh, the Western Slope, uh, Montrose County and Delta County as well. So you can see that we will be uh, experiencing some really heavy rain from Wednesday afternoon through Thursday night. So this is a two day flash flood watch. And we also have a chance for severe weather on the Western Slope tomorrow, covering almost the entire western side of the state. Heavy pockets of rain and very, very windy conditions with those thunderstorms. Now let's talk about the smoke because that will be getting a little bit better as we head into tomorrow with that front getting ready to move through. So we will see improved conditions out there. Still a little bit smoky in some areas, but not quite as bad. And this is by tomorrow night, not looking too terrible out there, but don't get used to it because there's still so much smoke off to our west to deal with because those fires are still raging, but at least we'll get a little bit of a break. We do still have air quality alerts in place on Wednesday for the front range areas down to El Paso County and temperatures right now. It's warm. Take a look at this 94 in Denver, 93 in Greeley, low 90s out east, 60s to the 80s in the high country, 80s, 90s off to the west, 66 from our weather watcher Mark Milligan just west of Fair Play and our almanac for today, 97 degrees here down uh, out at DIA, 95 downtown. So it was really hot, just one degree shy of the daily record high of 98 degrees and tonight mid 60s for most of the front range in eastern plains and 50s to the north 40s 50s in the high country and then we have the 50s to the 60s out west tomorrow it's hot once again about the same as today for the front range in eastern plains though uh, 96 in fort collins and denver and Greeley. 90s out east 101 in la junta but that cold front's already working through parts of the western side of the state 80s and 70s for the high country and western slope and then we drop down to the 80s on thursday with a really good chance of rain lesser rain chances on friday but temperatures do stay on the cooler side all right thanks lauren you know i can't believe